Before the February of 2022, the world was still hesitant about jumping headfirst into car electrification. But oil and natural gas blackmail that we're witnessing today will inevitably force the hands of politicians to go green and nuclear. After all, electric power can be unlimited. So let's support the electric revolution by learning about the latest news within the EV world. We have got all classes and body styles. And bear in mind that this is just the first volume of the video and more EVs will be shown in the next episode. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell not to miss it. Enjoy the ride! Lexus RZ450e Since the RX midsize is the best-selling Lexus, it becomes the first model to get an electric equivalent built on the dedicated ETNJ platform that already underpins Toyota BZ4X and Subaru Solterra. As expected, the exterior theme of the RC450e is fully dictated by the LFC concept. So the production model gets a closed-off spindle grille, while the entire body now follows the so-called spindle body design language. The electric juice is stored in a 71.4 kWh battery that feeds a duo of electric motors on the front and rear axles and therefore enables direct for all-wheel drive system. Combined output reaches adequate 309 horsepower and 321 pound-feet, but the range feels quite underwhelming with just 225 miles on a charge. The technological supremacy of this Lexus comes in the form of a yoke steering wheel with the desired steer-by-wire that eliminates hand-over-hand -hand turns. There is a 14-inch infotainment, head-up display and the latest Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0. Maserati Gran Turismo Fall Gore The official reveal of the production-ready Gran Turismo will not happen till sometime in 2023. But for now, Maserati has decided to treat its fans with some footage of the prototype version. The coupe shares its exterior styling with the recently launched Grecale SUV. There is the brand's signature grille, elongated headlights and new wheels. The GT Fall Gore is expected to ride on an all-new platform that uses Formula E tech and supports 800 volt charging. Rumors also suggest several drivetrain options, making at least 600 and up to 1200 horses. Lastly, we should mention that the future GT promises the best in class handling and extreme performance parameters, namely 186 mph top speed and 0 to 60 under 3 seconds. VW ID Buzz The auto world has been buzzing about the Volkswagen's electric van ever since its introduction at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show. Now, the MPV with the world's widest smile makes a full production debut, still sporting a futuristic neo-retro design and a two-tone paint scheme reminiscent of the original T1. The initial variant of the Buzz ID will be a short wheelbase 5-seater, but in the future will also welcome 7-seat cargo and camper versions of the van. In this case, the MAB platform has been confirmed in two configurations. Single front motor with a 201 HP and a 295 dual motor all-wheel drive. The range of the 77 kWh battery should hover around 260 miles. The interior solutions should be closely related to other members of the ID family. Hence, recycled materials for the upholstery, digital dashboard, 12-inch touchscreen, innovative ID light and over-the-air updates. If you want to be less reliant on Russian oil, make sure to smash the like button and watch this video till the end. We need more electric cars in the roads. Let's keep rolling. Audi Urban Sphere Versatility of skateboard platforms for electric vehicles is bound to result in the emergence of new car classes. For instance, Audi introduces a crossbreed between a sporty full-size SUV and a classic family MPV, which could be a harbinger of the future electric alternative to the Q9. The Urban Sphere design reinterprets the single-frame grille as an illuminated panel with LED lights. 
headlights surely feature the latest matrix technology with millions of diodes, and doors explore the concept of counter-hinged opening. The Saudi is likely to be underpinned by the 800V architecture that has already been tested by the e-tron GT. Here, though, it gets a massive 120kWh battery and a dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain with 385 horsepower. Measuring 134 inches in wheelbase length and 216 inches overall, this model beats the A8 Forge limo and therefore offers boundless interior space with the lounge-like reclining seats and dedicated entertainment and sound zones for each passenger. Lotus Elettra As previously announced, Lotus is wrapping up its internal combustion program and therefore the first SUV of the brand goes all electric. The Elettra takes the core principles from more than 70 years of sports car manufacturing and consequently gets an aerodynamically superior body with active aero components, closed-off grille, rear spoiler and 22 or 23-inch wheels. To justify the claim for the title of the world's first hyper SUV, this Lotus is built on the 800V electric architecture with the components from the Avaya hypercar. It either gets a dual or a tri-motor all-wheel drive powertrain that makes 600 or 900 horsepower respectively. The Electra claims 370 miles of range, 2.9 seconds 0 to 60, and 160 miles per hour VMAX. In its fully loaded version, this Lotus gets ceramic composite brakes with 10 piston calipers, air suspension, and adaptive dampers. While its seats and surfaces can be wrapped in wool blends and man made textiles, genuine leather, and durable microfiber. Tata Avenia The Indian Tata already has two fully electric vehicles in its stables, but the Avenia concept radically changes the company's approach to both electrification and model design. This SUV sits on a new Generation 3 architecture developed specifically for EVs. It is constructed using the latest materials, is optimized for the energy efficiency, and is designed to replenish 310 miles of range in 30 minutes using the fast charging infrastructure. From the outside, the Avenia adopts modern styling previously unseen on any Tata. Its bodywork merges features of a hatchback, an SUV, and an MPV. Thin LED lights serve as the main focal points on the front fascia, plus there is a huge closed-off grille, stunning two-tone paintwork, and radical-looking wheels. On the inside, Tata decided to go a different route, so instead of several huge screens, there is a small one integrated into the steering wheel and two more on the sides for camera mirrors. Deus Vajan The Austria-based Deus Automobiles have debuted their first electric hypercar that promises staggering performance numbers. According to the company Williams Advanced Engineering, who are the former technology offshoot of the Williams Formula One team, were involved in the development of the Vajan's powertrain. The mechanical details are kept secret. The only figures that we know is that the combined output of the system will reach 2200 horsepower and 1475 pound-feet of torque. Deus estimate that the model will sprint from 0 to 16 pH in under 2 seconds, while its maximum speed will exceed 248 mph. As for the styling, the Vajan may not be the most exotic model within its segment, though it does have several unconventional features. The most noticeable include the unique shapes of the front and rear grills inspired by the Infinity Loop, as well as a futuristic LED taillight stripe. More details will be unveiled closer to 2025 for when the deliveries are scheduled. Audi e-tron A6 Avant The all-electric wagon of the nearest future impresses us with its dimensions. Underpinned by a new PPE platform, 
the A6 Avant e-tron concept measures 16.3 feet long and 6.4 feet wide, which is even wider than the current RS6. Key styling cues are taken from the last year's sport bag, so here we'll see a similar single-frame front grille, short overhangs, pronounced wheel arches, huge 22-inch alloys, and a rather long roofline. Some details are different though, such as a sportier rear diffuser or deeper air intakes responsible for additional cooling needed to support the 100 kWh battery pack. Audi says that the latter will be enough to cover over 430 miles of range on a single charge. The biggest news here is that the PP architecture supports up to 270 kW recharge rate. It means that around 180 miles can be replenished in just 10 minutes. The event has a twin motor setup producing 469 horses and 590 pound feet of torque. Xpeng P5 This compact sedan is the smallest model from the Xiaopeng Motors. But according to the company, it is also the most sophisticated production car on the market in terms of autonomous driving tech. Instead of relying solely on cameras, the CV puts to work up to 32 sensors, including two automotive-grade lidars that enable the function of the latest X-Pilot 3.5 system. On the EV front, the P5 offers a single-motor front-wheel drive configuration that can be paired with three battery options – 56, 66 and 71 kWh. In all three, the system returns 210 horses and 229 pound-feet, while the range varies from 200 to 260 miles on a charge. Rumors also suggest that in the future, the car might also get an all-wheel drive option. Its exterior has an attractive fastback profile while the futuristic cabin relies on a 12.3-inch digital dashboard and a 15.6-inch infotainment with the next-generation XSmart 3.0 operation system. Nikola Tram Change of management has definitely helped Nikola to distance themselves from the past controversy, and they actually beat Tesla to the market of electric semis. For now, the hydrogen fuel cell truck was postponed until 2023, and instead, the American startup went forward with the development of a battery electric trap. The first production units of this reimagined capover for short-haul and metro regional applications have already been received by Nikola's partner, Total Transportation Services, Inc. This heavy-duty hauler is built upon a proven Evaco S-Way platform with a compact wheelbase of 186 inches. The ginormous 753 kWh battery continuously juices the 6x2 drive with 645 horsepower. The gross combined vehicle weight rating of the Nikola Tra is 82,000 pounds or 37 tons. The range should reach 350 miles while the maximum recharge rate of 240 kW should ensure 10 to 80% battery replenishment in 2 hours. Remember, this is just the first volume of the electric news that we've got for you. So subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the next one. Smash the like button and chat with us in the comment section below the video. Support our channel by watching more and follow the link in the pinned comment. As always, may the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!